<laughs> Good timing, oh yes! Great timing! <laughs> you lucky devil! This is worth 18 submarines! <laughs> Come on, Mama, let the good times roll! <laughs> but no, look, there's this there's this new amateur fighter. He's he's only had a couple of matches, and he's he's quickly Well, he's he's finally starting to make his way through the ranks, and I I need him to win. What's now, his name? He goes by Lemon. Lemon. That's that's a bad omen where I come from. <laughs> we don't sell lemons. We don't drive lemons. We fucking wreck them, man. <laughs> Look, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, and this man is going to make me a lot of lemonade. <laughs> as long as he doesn't get in the ring and lemonade in his pants. <laughs> the kid's he's, a champ. He's a lemon. <laughs> he's, he's a champ. <laughs> In the making. Or at least he's won his last... Well, he's... I guess his winning streak starts tonight. Starts tonight? I think. Well, you said his fight was next week. I said I have a vested interest in his fight next week. I need him to win his fight next week. You assume he's going to win tonight? Assume, yeah. Alright, well, I'll bet on that. Is there, like, a booth where you can... Is there a guy going around... <laughs> there there are various bookies or, that take bets yeah <laughs> including in the arena right now i find a bookie <laughs> <laughs> okay just immediately gets up and runs away from the conversation <laughs> <laughs> hold on i gotta <laughs> what are the odds on lemon uh jake's like oh boy uh, <laughs> oh fuck i gotta make up some odds real quick <laughs> five to one he's never won a match Right? It's new. It can't be that good. He's had three matches. I'm trying to gauge what is a lot. You know what? I feel like I could I could feel safe with 70. No way. You're going to bet 70? Yeah. You know what? Alex will uh, she'll she'll say fuck it. You know what? She'll get, uh, find a bookie. She'll put twenty on him. Okay. Um. I just like that in the middle of this conversation, both of you are like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Walked out. <laughs> it was. <laughs> we got. Hey, we. <laughs> it's like I got. He's like, no. He's so you think he's gonna win this week? Yeah, think. Hold on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got a word from my man, Mickey, and if Mickey thinks it. <laughs> I believe I trusted Mickey. He never led me wrong before. Okay. As you were, as Nux was running away, I said to put 50 down for me. Like yeah, because I basically handed him 20. To like, here, you know how to do this. You know how to do this for us, love. You go ahead and put, put this down for me. <laughs> All right. Well, We'll trust Mickey's. Uh, we'll trust Mickey's intuition on this. So, as as a party, we put down one forty. Yeah. On lemon. Sure. Um, how so much did you do? Seventy. I did seventy. He did 70, twenty. Seventy twenty fifty. Fifty. Yeah. 140. Yeah, that's one forty. Okay. Um. So yeah, he's like so, but so I got a job for you guys. I got a I got a lead that I need you guys to follow up on and and. Work some of your magic. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more after the fights, though. Or at least he goes with he goes ahead and says that we'll go ahead and talk after, like, we'll go for dinner and talk in a more private place after the fights, seeing as two of your people just took off <laughs> as soon as he said that. Or mentioned anything about it. He's like, you know what, we'll talk, we'll talk more after the fights, especially, like, less people around. Taking note of all of the you know screaming fans all around you guys um so you go through most of the night of fights uh it is very it is still very wrestling like professional wrestling of most fights start with people cutting promos and like mm -hmm. talking shit on the mic um there's some dirty underhanded stuff of like tag team stuff of like distracting the ref 
The refs are surprisingly beefy guys. Like well, you, you have to be. That's yeah, it. you see, a, like a ref takes a, a bump every now and again, mm -hmm. and he can get up. And these guys are gorillas out there. I love watching the compilations of refs taking hits by boxing. <laughs> <laughs> like so, these these refs are in huge like huge pads bulletproof like vests and shit like that got these big ass helmets on and when they take hits whoa they, they get bumped around <laughs> i'm just thinking of the of the uh black and white stripe pattern just as body armor it's, it's pretty much over top of it yeah yeah <laughs> why does there need to be a ref because it's still there there there, there are, are rules, rules. Oh, there, there are rules okay there has to be structure so no attacking the eyes or genitals or what it's stuff like that and like no, no like guns like no, no weapons <laughs> yeah like no real blades though right no no okay you're not supposed to but if somebody gets stabbed while the ref is like distracted by somebody being like oh why would you make that call who's also on like the side of the ring is... yeah i would imagine it's like normal wrestling rules yeah but in like a no rules match Whereas WWE would be like ladders and tables and you hit them with a stick or something. This is like, no, they'll shoot you in the head. Yeah. People get shot sometimes. But then again, the, like almost everybody that are wrestlers are solos who are decked out to the gills as well. They're like all sorts of things. So like you guys, like there was a shooting tonight. Guy got shot with a pistol, but he's got skin weave. So even though it hurt, it didn't even break the skin mm -hmm, right. on him. Um. But yeah, so Night of Fights, the the one that you guys care about was in the fifth round, uh, where your boy Lemon did cut quite the promo on his opponent. Mm -hmm. Seeing as he started with a speech about how much of a family man he knows that his opponent is. What's his <laughs> opponent's name? <sighs> It's like, oh God, well, you always would ask me a name. I hate making up <laughs> names. <laughs> What's a Catholic name? Uh, That's not like overly <sighs> Italian. Overly Italian. <laughs> Wait, like a wrestler's name? Like a wrestling Catholic? He's the Cardinal. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Um, his, his opponent is a face. Dusty knows a bit more about him, so you guys like are hearing him talk about the, like, the things. He's a big family man who's got religious values. Mm -hmm. His whole family has religious values. <laughs> which is he why he does these promotional fights you know for charity i mean he's doing the lord's work <laughs> and lemon likes to let him know in this promo that you know he loves that the man is a big family man and he loves that about him so of course he had to make sure to get a gift for that family and so he gave a gift to the guy's wife and he asked him, does he want to see the gift that he gave his wife? Mm -hmm. And the guy's a bit confused. He's like, what? What are you talking about, Lemon? <laughs> oh. Da you didn't, oh, you didn't get my gift. Oh, sorry. Here you go. And then he goes ahead and has him play a little ditty on the, on the big screen, which hasn't, which has happened with a couple of people of, you know, showing off a little bit of what people have been up to in their weeks or showing some news articles and stuff like that to go along with their promos. Mm, you know, and he, those giant uh, television, you know, monitors and shit. Yeah, that are all over the place. And he shares what looks to be maybe the first person perspective of a brain dance. It's a little hard to see what's going on at first until until all of a sudden the lights turn on and then you see the you see the person's eyes kind of adjust. And it, it appears to be the Cardinal's wife getting railed. <laughs> and uh, that that just leads into an immediate full-on fight from the Cardinal of him not even letting him finish his promo. And the match just goes on from there. And it didn't end well for the Cardinal. Oh my god, he fucked 
fuck is wild. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much every that's that's everybody on the sidelines. You see the wife who was in his corner being like, ah, ah, um, hi, um, hiding um. face, like scurrying off into the back. Oh my god, you see me like fucking losing my mind. <laughs> I would lose my mind. They should do that in the beginning of UFC fights, be like, guess what? I fucked your wife. <laughs> <laughs> they, look, I've been saying for years, that's the big thing that's missing in boxing for me. It's like, why are these two guys fighting? It's like, for honor. It's like, that's not a really good reason. I want to I want to see these two guys go out there and have like, like let's let's get them in the parking lot first. And then they have like a, a slight fender bender. And then we put them in the ring with the gloves. They yeah. gotta make it personal. My car. To get a, you force them to like back their vehicles into each other. I look. I need to see why there's conflict. He's gotta like, make it. He's, like, he's gotta feel like, to like it's gotta be personal. So I can slap him to piss you off. Otherwise, there's no reason to fight. Uh, that's why. Look. That's why WWF was so popular back in the day. It's like it wasn't. Oh, these guys are pulling off these crazy wrestling moves. It was like. This person's addicted to abortions, and this guy done he done hurt this man's family and burned down their house. He took his job. He took his job. He lost his dog. <laughs> he broke his job. Like they had, <laughs> yeah, they had whole storylines going on, and that's con- like look, that's that's what I need in my life. If if football had more of that, I'd be all about it. Alex is is still just like sitting back and sipping on her and uh, sipping at her drink and nothing else. She's more getting a kick out of how the crowd is being riled up by this than anything that is with actually the match going on. So bef- before the football game starts, they flip a coin to decide like who gets to kick off or whatever. So like, what if they did like a yo mama battle first? <laughs> then they're all fired up at each other, and whoever wins the yo mama battle first gets to. <laughs> you want a wild out session before each game? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> now I'm thinking that we set up like, like people like football movies. Mm. The reason that the people like football movies is because they're like, oh, there's a story, there's a character to get invested in. There's always an underdog. And there's always an underdog, but then like sometimes, like now in the now we've seen like with Cobra Kai where people reshape like even what the <coughs> overdog's story kind of was and how he mm. saw things. Yeah, right. You you oh. could you could implement that into oh, like God. modern day sports of like oh like film a season of like film a season of interactions amongst things and then kind of build around that. Make this whole whole background storyline that you work through. Yeah. And then people have way more investment in like their team winning, or at least somebody like me who I have no interest at all in <laughs> sports right now. Well, of course not, because there's no story to it. It's just. <laughs> it's the opposite of story. <laughs> That's why Retcon was contained in a cage of it. We're going to watch some Rick and Morty. Oh my God. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. Retcon. but so, but Lemon does win. The oh, he does. Excellent. How badly? Like, does he smash the? Does he smash the cardinal's face into the uh, into the floor? Or so like, paint me a picture of how of how Lemon wins. So it doesn't look very hot at first for him. Okay. Seeing as he kind of was barely watching the cardinal, because uh, you know everybody was reacting to the 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 jumbotron the show, and he's. He's over there like, oh, yeah, just like turning just towards so, the audience. He's just, and just watching the crowd and soaking up their reactions. And, and the Cardinal snapped. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> there wasn't even a let's pass off the mic. There was the Cardinal jumped on him with mic in hand. And he, just sucker, <laughs> and he just sucker punched him. Yeah. So at first, everybody, like, there's a bit of, oh, shit. Because there's a couple of sucker punches like, that oh! go on. But as, as the momentum of the fight starts, Lemon very quickly plays with him. Oh, okay. And then beats him because the guy just is, he's very angry <laughs> and it it just doesn't go well for him the whole fight. Is he too angry to fight properly? Pretty much. So it's like, mm. this is a part of like, and I think this is Maybe an this exercise is a in like creative ways to get the edge in these combats. Because so. uh, Alex even actually leans over to uh, Mickey and asks, um, so is that something that he does before every fight, or is this something new that he's tried? Well, he's uh, he hasn't ever publicized a sex tape, no. 
Okay, so he hasn't gone that extreme, but it is, but he, this is something that he does. Why? Well, I, I, he did it. Okay. <laughs> I knew I should have bet more, but I felt like it was medical. You bet more than the rest than anyone else in so the party. Because I was so sure it was like because you were literally <laughs> getting half the winnings. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? Half the winnings. He fronted half of our fundings into it, so whatever the winnings come out to be. Slightly more than half. No, you had 70, 50, oh, 20. Oh, that's right. I continued at 40. I don't know. Oh, I was, I was keeping track of all your guys' stuff separate. Uh, yeah, I really was. I was very scared when you guys were like, oh, I'm going to put money down on this immediate fight. Oh, uh, dude, <laughs> it really crossed my mind to put all my money on it. But I felt broken. I was like, "No, nah, I can't do this. It'd be wrong." Alex is more like, "I don't." Alex is really more like, "She anyway. doesn't consider any of this. She's not against the gambling thing." That's where it's like, you know what? She can, she can uh, afford to lose twenty eddies. So, like, sure, I'll put twenty eddies on here. I either I lose twenty eddies or I make a or you know I make a hundred if this guy apparently wins. So let's let's see what this, let's see what happens. Dude, my this. rent is so much. Fuck. All right. Damn it. You all have the same rent. I know, but like, I didn't even make enough money to pay rent. You barely like bet anything. Bet. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to go crazy, but I felt like 70 was a, I felt like 70 was a fair amount. Anyway. Um, yeah, so he wins. Mickey doesn't seem too keen on talking about specifics amongst the crowd. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you two are running off. Uh, mm-hmm. Mickey said we'll talk about this in a minute. Or like after the show. Yeah. Okay. Or at least at, he he's more than happy to leave with you guys after Lemon's fight. But we could, like it depends if you guys wanted to stick around for the next like four matches or leave at that point. So it's five times seventy. Three hundred and fifty. <laughs> Uh, Will made 250 and Steve made 100. Yep. We don't play. We don't play. We don't play. We don't play. We don't play.